uh, feeling very positive after that and a little bit hungry. But I am going to now reveal an amazing, an amazing produce to you. So here's an interesting fact that you might not have known, that cow peas were domesticated in Africa. And in fact, are one of the oldest crops ever to be farmed. And today, we're going to use these ancient native African beans to make a delicious African bean salad, packed full of vitamins with minerals and essential fatty acids. This is kind of a super salad, if you will, perfect addition to the festive feet, feast to just cut through all the heavy dishes. Just like Michaela cuts through all my heavy Surprise! conversation. <laughs> Well, I said goodbye to you yesterday. I know, my we little cried. Heart, my, we, we did. We cried. Yeah. We, we kind of did the COVID, weird COVID embrace. We yeah. were like, ah, and then, and then you're back. And, and we're so happy to, to have African you. African themed food day. Um, and we love it, man. Yeah. Um, I had no idea, idea that this was a cow pea. I thought it was I a black eyed pea. I thought they were black eyed peas. Ah, so it's half actually and a half, bean. They are half and half in there. Okay. They kind of look like black eyed peas, though. They so really I'm sorry do. to anyone who I offend, but like I really don't know the difference. Well, this is the, the trick, eh? So um, these beautiful little cow peas have been, in fact, um, they were domesticated here in Africa, and we've been farming them for the oldest time. This might be one of the oldest crops in existence, which is do really, really cool. Do you think the, the one, because the one definitely looks more like a creamy colour, and the other one's more of like a beige. Mm, you can it's male see and there's female. a slight No, it's male and female. No, it's huh? not. No, that's oh. not, that's not a real thing. That's not a real, don't, you don't get... Uh, a, a sex and beans. Um, these are delicious. They are super healthy. We are adding some amazing little textural elements here. Lots of crunchy bits as well. I love a bean salad. Yeah, man. Because yeah. it's got to have... What's key to a bean salad then? Explain beans. that to me. Beans? Okay, we've ticked that box. A tangy dressing of sorts. Tangy, a bit of zing, 100%. Yeah. Spice. Spice, Always needs a bit of spice, chinese. okay. Yeah. Crunch. Crunch. Got to have texture. But also the beans need to be... Um, cooked correctly. Ah. Yeah, okay. you don't want them raw. <laughs> no, exactly. And you want to be able to harness all the benefits from all of these amazing foods. So if you if you're kind of in a in a um, a whole food phase of life, this is a great thing to go to. Okay, yeah. you're mixing our zingy sauce as you will. What have you combined and are Some about to combine with our Be Well canola and olive oil blend? Dijon mustard. Lovely. Honey. Lovely. Some white wine vinegar, Beautiful. salt, pepper, and then you want to emulsify it, but I don't know if I'm going to get to a stage where it emulsifies okay. right now. Uh, I would um, say put it in a blender, actually. Because yeah, we've got that's what hand blenders are for, I yeah. think, to emulsify stuff. Yeah. So you want to go faster than this, but like... Uh, like a thousand times faster. It's like six o'clock in the so morning, like, like it's time. humanly impossible to emulsify at quarter past six in the morning, no. giving it a good go. Okay, well, no, we get it in principle. Okay. And again, that, that's your flavour balance here. That's going to elevate the flavours of all of these individual things into uh, a crescendo. Okay, so exactly. into our beans goes... So we have a green pepper. Nice. Always love some green pepper. Cucumber. I might have gone for like a yellow and red pepper. I seem to prefer... Do you know the difference between nothing. the peppers? Absolutely it's nothing. It's just um, this, this, no, the stages of ripeness. Oh, really? It's all the same thing, but wow. the different colours of the peppers are like how ripe it is. Oh, goodness, you've just yeah. blown my mind. I also first, found that out and I was like, this is great. First the cow pea, black eyed pea revelation of yes. 2021. And now this. <laughs> And we've got some beautiful corn. We do. And that, I suppose, brings the sweets as well. So there we've got the sweet, sour, savory mix. You've got that with a bit of and we have some added peanuts. texture. Um, the nut option for this was Bambara nuts. Okay. But we can get our that hands easy on them. To, to find. Yes. Okay. So, note to self if you can get your hands on a bag of Bambara nuts, do it. And then go and rush out and get yourself some. Beans and create. Would you like to um, slice some of those uh, what tomatoes? Sort of yeah, in, yeah, for sure. In half. In half. Oh, okay. So you chose the horizontal plane. Wow. Okay. I was going to do it in threes, actually. But... Uh, and then if you could also just um, do a quick dice, I mean, quick chop on some of the parsley and the mint we have Ooh, there. Oh, mint. Nice. Look, I'm finding, I'm using mint more and more in things now, like in a smoothie, how much it elevates. What other flavour profile do you use in your smoothie, though? So there, apple. Okay. And mint and ginger. Cucumber. Work superbly well. Cucumber would work really, really well. Um, it's nice. It kind of takes the edge off the sweetness of like an apple or something like that. There we go. Grab COVID it. COVID stretch. Go, do it. Oops. That looks beautiful. It looks wholesome. 
and it looks filling. I love it. And of course, we've introduced a little bit of Be Well as well into the mixer. And what I love is you get the beautiful flavor profile of the olive oil, all the health benefits of the com combination of the canola and, and the olive oil, and a beautiful taste at the end of the day, which is what you it's all about. I literally forgot the pasta. I literally yeah. forgot the, the parsley by the looks of it, Italian parsley. If you want to create this, parsley. this kind of, um, I'm going to call it the most ancient of salads. Lovely. Please go to You could add an ancient grain to that. You really could, eh? And some mint we're going to add just because we're bougie. Um, but please go to expressoshow.com. You can find all of our recipes there. And this one, I think, is going to be perfect for the summer heat that we're experiencing. Michaela, you're a genius. So here's the good news, guys. Be Well is encouraging you to live a healthier lifestyle. And they are rewarding you for making those right choices. So they are giving away one 10,000 rand grocery, 10 grand grocery voucher and then four 1,000 Rand grocery vouchers between now and the end of February 2022. So if you want to put yourself in the running to win one of these cool prizes, then simply buy a product in the Be Well Olive range, then direct message your name and your till slip to Be Well's Facebook and you can find all the terms and conditions and those details on bewellfoods.co.za. Can I drift across and taste it quickly? As 100%. Yay. As it uh, okay, I'm going to just dress it. Just it was tiny. already dressed, but I mean, I, you can go for more gold. I, I don't have an actual fork, so I'm using a serving spoon. Excuse <laughs> look me. Look how you think it is. That's disgusting, I know, but oh, look, it, it looks beautiful. Mmm. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Hey? Okay? And that mint really does finish it off. Absolutely beautiful. This um, African. Explosion of flavor with this very humble little African bean is yours if you go to expressoshow.com and get another little.